Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we will learn about volatility skew, wherein we will understand what is volatility skew, how it is formed, how it looks like, and how can we go ahead and take options trading decisions looking at the volatility skew. So, volatility skew is also referred as IV skew. It is also referred as volatility smile, IV smile, volatility surface, so on and so forth. Everything means the same. So, first, let's understand how. Uh, you know implied volatility skew looks like okay so for that let me just take you to wall skew so to access wall skew you just need to navigate uh, to the application use the search panel and search for wall skew even if you search for skew still then it will show us uh, you know the analytic because over there the index searching is enabled now let me just show you of nifty so now how it looks it looks like a smile right so generally you will see that the left hand side of the slope it is generally more vertical it is more steepened okay so now let me just explain how this queue is getting formed so at the atm strike price so basically it is plotting all the implied volatilities okay all the strike implied volatilities on a single chart so for atm it is plotting average of call and put implied volatility so what it will do it will take uh, call implied volatility put implied volatility divided by 2 and it will plot it for the atm strike price okay so what will be plotted on the right hand side and what will be plotted on the left hand side on the right hand side otm call options implied volatility would be plotted okay on the right hand side let's say this is my atm so to show you all the atm so if you see 19658 is the atm so what it is plotting it is plotting call and put average okay so what is implied he traders quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you click the link in the description box below complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry thank you volatility over there it is 9.64 so 19650 okay this is where the atm is at this point towards the right hand side that means towards here 20,000, 19,900, 20,000 and so on and so forth. Over there, OTM call options implied volatility would be plotted. As you can see, it is OTM call options implied volatility which has been plotted on the right hand side of the skew. So if we just keep on plotting the dots, this is the shape that we will get. On the left hand side, the put options OTM implied volatility has been plotted. Okay, 19,600, 19,550, 19,500 and so on and so forth. Okay, so how it is plotted? ATM call and put average implied volatility right hand side call options implied volatility left hand side put options implied volatility now the shape of the skew it holds directional expectations so looking at the shape how it is changing its shape we need to gauge the directional expectations so let's understand how i need to check how this the lowest point so over here the lowest point is somewhere over here right 19900 so what i need to actually check is how the lowest point of the implied volatility skew is shifting is it shifting towards the right or is it shifting towards the left so this is the actionable part you can take notes of it if the lowest point of implied volatility skew okay if it shifts towards right that shows me bullish expectations of the option traders if it shifts towards the left hand side it will show me bearish expectations of the option traders so here are a few examples of the same so yesterday we saw a good up move in Cpla. So what actually happened is, so if you see this is a volatility skew. So wherein I'm getting to see the historical volatility skews. Okay, on what day, how the implied volatility skew looked like. Darker the uh, you know skew uh, over here. So if you see this green is a bit darker, it is a bit thicker. That shows that it is the recent most date. The lightest green, the lighter green, it shows that we are far away from the uh, current date. So if you see, this was on uh, 17th of October and this was on 18th of October. So over here, this is marking, right? So it is marking 20.05 and this is marking as 22.93. So what it is actually trying to show that on this day, which is on 17th of October, the lowest point of implied volatility skew was 20.05. On this day, which is 18th of October, you can see the thickness is highlighted by, uh, you know, the color codes itself over here. 
so if you see on this day the lowest point of false queue was 22.92 so where it has shifted it has shifted towards the right so it has shown us bullish expectations and eventually we saw a good move happening on cpi yesterday this is canfino the lighter green is showing us 13th october so more far away we go from the current day the lighter the green shade would be more closer we are to the current day the thicker more denser the a green shade would be okay so it is showing us the thick green is showing us uh, the walls queue of 16th of october so this is how it looked like and the lowest point of 16th of october was 39.61 on 13th of october this is how the queue looked like the lighter green okay the lowest point was 33.24 so from 13th october the lowest point was 33.24 to 16th october the lowest point was 39.61 where it shifted it shifted towards the right so whenever there is a right shift in the lowest point of all skew i am expecting some kind of bullishness to play out in the instrument okay so what happened in canfino you can all see the instrument it moved up all the way from 740 to 771 so i can do this analysis end of the day i can filter out the instruments for the next day's trading Over here too, what actually happened? The lowest point of all skew on 12th of October was 23.02. On 13th of October, the lowest point was 22.11. What happened in Hero Motor Co? It moved up by 2.25 percentage. So the idea is simple. What I am actually looking out for a shift in the lowest point of all skew. Is it shifting towards the right? If the answer is yes, if it, it is shifting to the right. that will give me bullish expectation if it shifts towards the left that will give me a bearish expectations now one last thing about wall skew is the movement okay on the left hand side of the skew okay which is the put side of the skew that will also show me or that will also uh, hint me about the option traders expectations so let's say if the left hand side slope the put side slope if it was a bit vertical okay if it was a bit steep and if it was a bit vertical and that has flattened now okay something which was let's say at 80 degree has now flattened okay to let's say 130 degree okay from this it has gone this okay it has flattened that will show me bullish expectations okay the put side implied volatilities are going down first thing second thing if something which was flattened or the left hand side of the skew if, if it was flattened and if that has steepened now that has got vertical now okay let's say if the first skew was at 130 degree placement and right now the shift is at 80 degree placement or let's say 100 degree placement okay compared to the flattened one if the if the skew gets steepened that will give me bearish expectations why the reason is simple the put ivs they are getting you know more expensive the implied volatility of the put options it is increasing so that these are the two things that we need to understand so now over here first check this thing on uh, from 5th to 6th october there was a right shift in uh, lowest point of all skew in nmdc giving me bullish expectations all right also observe how the next day on 9th of october just check this thick line which is showing me the wall skew on uh, 9th of october first this is how the skew looked like which was more vertical on the next day it got a bit flattened which is giving me bullish expectations and what happened with the stock a 10 percentage up move in the nmdc's uh, future price over here now we can obviously go ahead and uh, combine these things with other analytics such as historical built up charts options open interest and so on and so forth right but if i don't have any starting point for my trades wall skew can be one of my indicators wherein i can use that analytic and i can identify such moves easily i can at least get started right i can at least have sentiments on a particular instrument and i can eventually combine it with more analytics to get more and more conviction so yes folks that was it from my side for today's video if you have liked this video do hit the subscribe button do hit the like button and stay tuned for more such videos happy trading